OpenAI has announced that they will be implementing support for plugins in ChatGPT, so this is a big deal because it means that you now soon can start browsing the web using some kind of web browsing plugin in ChatGPT, and this means that you have access to all the updated information. So let's take a look at some demos and how this is going to work in practice. So here you can see a ChatGPT plugin. So we implemented initial support for plugins in ChatGPT. Users have been asking for plugins since we launched ChatGPT because they unlock a vast range of possible use cases. You can see here we're also hosting two plugins ourselves, a web browser and a code interpreter. Let's take a look at some demos of this. Here you can see the browsing plugin in action. So how does this year's Oscar winners compare to recently really release movies for box office sales. So you can see it browsing the web through the Bing API. And now we can get up to date information in ChatGPT. So that's a huge deal. You can see here the 2023 winner for best picture, everything, everywhere at all at once, earn $100 million in the box office. So yeah, this is great. I think this is very interesting. So the next thing I want to take a look at, you can see it has a file here called music.csv and he wants to upload that to the code interpreter. So basically it selects that and it opens it. And great, you have uploaded a file named music.csv. How can I help you with this file? So what are the columns of this data set? So here you can see it using the plugin to read the file and list out every single column in the data set music.csv. And how much it? Tw 35 different columns. How many rows does it have? So again, the data set has 10,000 rows. Can you run some basic visualizations? I don't know if this is sped up or if this is real time, but it seems pretty quick, right? So here we get some basically vis basic visualizations of the data set. So you can see we have the top 10 frequent artist names there. So you can see Mario Rosenstock is the most frequent name. And then it can follow up and do some analysis and stuff, right? So that is interesting. The next demo I wanted to take a look at, as you can see, it has a PNG file here of this Python logo. So it's going to upload that to the code interpreter and it says great looks like you uploaded a file let's take a look at it. And here we get the image back into the ChatGPT browser and this is a neo modernistic Python icon in form of Jesus painting. So I guess this uses uh, computer vision to look at the image probably some kind of the same technique that they are going to use in GPT-4 to look at images, right? So it can see the color palette. It's a creative interpretation of the Python logo and it's a unique piece of art. So I think this is very interesting. You can use this to a lot of cool things like combining this with mid journey, right? Get some, I guess it's some kind of reverse prompt engineering with uh, images. So maybe you can get a prompt back from an image you upload here. We're gonna have to test that out. And it goes, can you make it four times smaller? Working, yeah. Here's the icon image resize to be four times smaller. And it goes on to, I think it goes on to, can you turn it to grayscale? and it converts it perfectly into a black and white image or a gray scale image. And I think it tries to turn into a little light green. So here it changes the color light. So there's a lot of different things he tries to do and it tries to use now use OpenCV to select foreground only. And that is basically a background remover, right? So let's see if this works. Yeah, if you look at the image on top here, you can see it has these dolly two marks down here. On the last image, it does not have this. So that is very interesting. So it's like an image editor inside ChatGPT. So in the last demo here, he is gonna select a plugin that's called, uh, I think it's called Wolfram and OpenTable and Instacart. So basically three different plugins up in the corner here that he has three enabled plugins. And the prompt goes, looking to eat vegan food in San Francisco this weekend. Can you get me to one restaurant suggestion for Saturday and a simple recipe for Sunday? Calculate calories using Wolfram. Finally order the ingredients on Instacart. So that is a very demanding prompt, right? So it's using open table. I found a great vegan restaurant in San Francisco for you to try on Saturday. And for Sunday, here's a simple vegan recipe with the ingredients, right? And now let's calculate the calories using Wolfram Alpha. And you can see that is super precise, right? The total calories for the chickpea salad recipe are approximately 862 calories. So now let's order the ingredients on Instacart. And you can see we get a shopping list with the shopping list. I guess all the items in the recipe is now added to your cart. 
So you can just click on that link and click order. Yeah, that was cool. There's a lot of cool things I think you can do with this. So who gets access to this now? Uh, I think you just have to go to this homepage here and click on join plugin waitlist. So we are initially prioritizing a small number of developers and ChatGPT Plus users and plan to roll out larger scale access over time. If you want to just try to apply here, you can just fill out this waitlist. And yeah, very interesting move from OpenAI here with ChatGPT. Very excited to try to test this and we finally can be online on ChatGPT. So yeah, very cool.